And I'm going to fully confess here, I read Dreaming in Cuban uh, when I was uh, at the tail end of my high school years, and this is a distinct pleasure for me, and now having gotten a chance to read Vanishing Maps, uh, Christina, this book picks up about 20 years after Dreaming in Cuban, which came out in the early 90s. Why did you want to write this book? Well, it, it kind of... Um... It, it, it kind of tapped me on the shoulder after all these years. I wasn't expecting to write any kind of follow up, but I ended up adapting. Um, I ended up ad adapting Dreamy and Cuban as a play, and then I got reacquainted with all those characters, and they began hounding me for a sequel, as it were. <laughs> so that's how it came about. I literally had no intention when people would ask me, well, what happened to so-and-so? Or did Celia die walking into the sea? I would just shrug my shoulders and go, I, I don't know. My guess is as good as yours. 